look here. Take it all back. I do what I does like I did it. Some call it faith. Uh, I prefer big living, looking all city, fresh black fitted, tucked down low like who is it? Swagger like a teen that's new, whipping. Well, when I first uh, knew I wanted to get into gospel rap and I wanted to come up with some type of name, I just I was running and I was asking myself the question, well, who am I? You know, how do you say who you are in one word? And I came up with a son, as in a son of God. A to the S, I'm so on it. The grizzle for my Lord, doggone it. I'm sizzling, so I understand when they misspelling my name. Yeah. But it's a son with an O, bloodline from the king. I'm a with my music, I try to make it as relevant as possible. How does that Christian look if they're in a love relationship? How does that Christian look when he's hanging out with the fellas? Those are the type of subjects that I talk about. How does that Christian look when he's trying to have fun? Lay Em Down is a very special song to me. It's gonna be the first single off of this album. My wife and I recorded that song together and we were actually separated when we did that song. She was still willing to meet me in the studio to help me get this project finished. Even when our own marriage, um, the future of it was uncertain. And so uh, when we talk about laying down our will for God's will, um, there's a lot of power behind that message. The beats can be um, tight, um, the sound can be relevant, current, the lyrics can have good wordplay, all of that is important, but it's the anointing that makes a difference. Teenagers are going through a natural psychological phase where they're trying to figure out who they are and the parent represents, you know, uh, a barrier to that. Sweet girl, yes. pretty girl, yes. inside still a little girl. Yes. On the outside, it's about time for her to say goodbye to this world. Yes. At least that's in her mind. Yes. Six months ago, she was fine. Uh -huh. She cut a good man. There's a responsibility that comes with having the ear of young people. Young people might make decisions off of what you're saying. They might choose a whole life direction off of the words that you say. So with that responsibility, you got to make sure that what you're talking about, you know, um, considers that. It's easier to succeed than to fail. I hear you true it pulled your book off the shelves. Something wrong though, I need a little help. So many can folks sitting in a cell. Well, right now I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I have two companies. And so I get called out to do seminars on actually business topics a lot. But then of course, um, I get called out to uh, do seminars with the young people. Um, talking about biblical topics, social topics, you know, and again, it's just really important to engage them, involve them in the conversation so that they get something out of it. Okay, the Future Is Now is a project that I'm most proud of and excited about to date. Um, Brandon Broadnax has done a lot of the production. He's worked with Beyonce, 50 Cent, Brandy, Boys to Men. We also have tracks done by K-Drama, Sean Broadnax, and uh, M Quest, uh, who works a lot with um, Timberland. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Uh. The Future Is Now tour is going to be outstanding. We're actually shooting a documentary, and uh, we'll be going to uh, about 12 or 15 cities around the country, partnering with high school gospel choirs uh, for those concerts. Uh, we're also going to be talking to kids about why they stay in school. And ultimately, I want people to, uh, after they hear my music, feel closer to God and feel like they've heard from Him or like He's touched them. You know, if that experience can happen through my music, then I'm good. Just say thank you.